The Dr. Aphra comic recently completed its latest arc, The Unspeakable Rebel Superweapon by Simon Spurrier. It begins with Aphra and her new young partner, Vulata, going on a treasure hunt to recover an old Jedi weapon known as a Far Killer. It was basically a sniper rifle powered by lightsaber technology, which got its creator excommunicated from the Order. They are successful, but the Rebels track her down and capture her, hoping to use the Far Killer to create a superweapon that could assassinate the Emperor from across the galaxy. Thinking she can get back on the Empire's good side, Aphra escapes the Rebels and publicly turns the Far Killer over to the Imperial propaganda machine, hoping it would decrease her chances of execution. The Gambit works, and she is celebrated as a hero, given some measure of safety. She then learns the head of Imperial propaganda also plans to assassinate the Emperor and grab power for herself. But Aphra betrays her too, foiling all attempts against the Emperor's life, resulting in the execution of the Minister. She also finds herself back in the presence of Darth Vader, who tried to kill her the last time they were together. A lot of times with Star Wars comic arcs, I'll be excited the entire way through, or I'll just be meh on the story the whole way through, or I'll be excited until the final disappointing issue. But this might be the first time I was lukewarm about an arc and then completely turned around on its final issue. The unspeakable rebel superweapon seemed like it was all over the place. I was intrigued by the idea of the Alliance getting into the superweapon business, but it seemed out of character. I enjoyed learning about Aphra's history with her mother, but it wasn't really going anywhere. I felt like for the first time I was just going through the motions with Dr. Aphra, keeping up for the sake of it. But the final issue knocked me on my ass. Just revelation after revelation that were all set up in the previous issues, I just wasn't seeing where it was all headed. I was most excited by the reveal that the Empire had Aphra's mother killed all as part of a ruse to come in and bring quote-unquote order to a planet, and the fact that Aphra felt strongly enough about it to betray the propaganda minister was so satisfying. Aphra is someone that usually doesn't care about anyone but herself, and in a way I guess this is still a selfish act. She does stop the Emperor's assassination after all, but I was still rooting for it. I thought making the antagonist the person in charge of Imperial propaganda was a pretty interesting idea to explore as well, showing how they put a face to fear and chaos, and in true Imperial fashion, that face was a non-human one. She admits that some of those enemies were real, but most were invented. Lies to the public to sow fear and division among citizens. All of this, the invented fear of outsiders and the supposed chaos they might bring, is incredibly relevant today. The Unspeakable Rebel Superweapon was the sixth arc of the series, and it's possible that the seventh might be its last. The upcoming Empire Ascendant 56-page one-shot is meant to wrap up the main comic run first and foremost, but also teases the fates of Aphra and Bylert Valance, so it might also wrap up the Dr. Aphra and Target Vader series. I hope that's not the case for Aphra. Of all of the ongoing Star Wars comic series, I think the Charles Soul Vader was the best. But Dr. Aphra has been so much more consistently entertaining than the main Star Wars run. I love how weird it gets, I love the freedom it can afford not being too closely connected with the main saga, and of course I love the Indiana Jones inspirations. Even if the comic series ends, I hope to see the character of Aphra endure through books or some other media. I will take anything. But that's a worry for the future. For now, let me know what you thought of this arc in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.